Heat tinting is produced by the hot surface reacting with oxygen in the air to form a thin layer of oxide. The same thing happens during welding. This high temperature oxide replaces the passive film, but unfortunately it doesn't protect the surface as well. There is a simple solution. Remove the heat tinting and allow the passive film to form. Here the weld is being ground with successively finer abrasives until all traces of the welding have gone. Alternatively, the design may call for the weld to be merely given a smooth profile. At other times, the cleaning could be made into a design feature. The appearance of this plate doesn't matter. Notice that the coarse grinding marks are being removed with a finer abrasive disc to avoid corrosion problems later. Of course, heat tinting can be removed with a pickling paste. But the weld must be washed well afterwards and the waste water disposed properly. With vessels like these, it's often cheaper to clean all the outside surface. This is done in a specially constructed chamber where they are sprayed with acid. They are then washed with water, taken out of the chamber and allowed to dry. As we've seen, most fabrication techniques can be used for stainless steel, but care must be taken to avoid contaminating its surface. Like all materials, proper fume extraction is essential during welding. So is good fit-up, good jigging, and the correct welding parameters. The keys to success are using the right stainless steel, good design, and competent fabrication. These portholes will operate in a severe marine environment, but the fabricator's skill and the designer's choice of an austenitic stainless steel containing molybdenum ensures that their performance matches that of the boat.